Hello and welcome back to Tharic Plays Blood Bowl 2, today with our humans. So, this might be the first video that I'm recording out of order for Blood Bowl ever, maybe. Because I tried to record an org video, which would come right before this, and still will. Um, but I went to, through two full cycles, and I didn't find an opponent, because our humans are a little bit high up there. It's, it's, well, it's, it's, it's noon, so... There should be opponents around, but apparently there just aren't, so uh, I'll for once have to... How long was that search? Okay, long. Uh, for once I have to record out of order and just hope that we can find something with our humans who will be next up in the rotation, so yeah. We will see, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna pause, so see you in a moment. And here we are, we've got a, a mirror match. Uh, interestingly enough, but our team value is higher than theirs. This will s jump over. There we go. So what does he have? He has a guard ogre. He has a guard. He has guard mighty blow on two of his blitzers, so he has m more guard than I do, and he has a thrower with block. He also feels two catchers. We have a catcher as well now, of course. And yeah, let's just see about this. Okay, so decent so far, I guess. 13 players, 3 rerolls. Um, so I didn't show my team that much, so let me let me show my team again for a quick moment. Server's a bit slow today. So we've got a very good guy here now. Uh, we've got the Agility 4, which I'm still not completely sure of. We've got our Catcher, we've got a Kicker, a Dirty Player. It's all good. He will get 220k in inducements. So probably a Wizard and a Bape, I assume. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I can't really say it, how this is going to go, honestly. Um, yeah, there's the wizard. So we did have tackle as well, don't we? So we have a good... Yeah, we've got tackle on one. And there it is, wizard and babe. So we've got a, a good chance to, to hit the, the catchers. With their strength too, they're easier to hit anyways, but they do have dodge. Which makes them a bit more mobile, but with Tackle we can negate that, of course, and try to knock them down and get them off the pitch. He does have more Mighty Blow, he does have more Guard. I have the overall better developed team, and we'll just have to wait and see how this is going to play out. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I am going to give him my ogre on the line of scrimmage, I think. Or we'll we'll see how it will play out. I am kicking, so I should set up my kicker. Maybe... Yeah, I'm on defense, so I think I'm going to leave the catcher off the pitch. Uh, so how do I want to set this up? Do I... I think we have to close down the sides a little bit. Because he's got fast players and those could come in. No, we can't. Not like this. Um, need to switch these two, I think. So let's see, he's got zzz, two SPP. Yeah, I can't switch that. Or maybe we want to set up like this, get the dirty player out on the outside and the agility four in here. So we've got these two in the middle. We've got the dodge guy here. We've got our guard guy right there. Uh, our thrower as well. You know what, I'm going to put the thrower in the back because he's got leader, so we don't want him to get injured, and I need my thrower. It exposes him a little bit more, but that's okay, and he needs to be in the not in the wide field so that he can actually kick with, the, with his uh, stuff. So, yeah. Um, the first turn could do a lot already. 
He's got potentially three mighty blow blocks, assuming he wants to take them. He does have all of his blitzers as well. Let's see if he uses both of his catchers. No, he only uses one. So do I want a deep kick or not? I think I want a deep kick. All the way back there. Let's actually go over one further. Oh, yeah, I should have taken... Um, oh, damn. Okay, interesting. I should have taken the short kick. <laughs> Considering all that. So I can't really reach this, but I need to pressure it regardless. So that's what we're going to start with. I hope it does not scatter outside. There is a, a 3 in 8 chance that that's going to happen. And I just hope that it will not. So I'm not going to put him in there, but over here. Which will allow him to move a bit, but it doesn't block this guy from moving over there next turn. Do I want to GFI this? I think we want to GFI this. And just hope. Yeah. But I'm not going to go further. I am going to put my dirty player on this guy, just so that he can't move him away. Um, let's bring him up to here, so that they don't want to follow up. I could bring in my guard player. Yeah, might as well go a bit aggressive here. I could have also blitzed there, I now realized. But that's okay. So the agility in here as well. I need to be careful still about how we approach this. Let's bring up our mighty blow over there. And then right up there, just so that he can't get an assist against this guy. Let's see. Ball scatters outside, and that's where the trouble starts, because now he's going to give it to this guy. And he's going to run down this way. No, Whitwood. Does he just want to cage up there? That's a bit of a weird choice right now. Because he could have used this guy to get himself an assist right here. Then he could have blitzed with him. Set him up right there. Gotten himself an assist to knock this guy down. And he could have run this guy with the ball down this way. Very far this way. And I would not have been able to catch him most likely, I think. That was a misplay on my part. I should have seen that. We, 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 we can be very lucky with the way he played this. Oh, start with the one dice. He's not even using this guy as an assist right now. Um, okay, he's going for one dice blocks, right off the bat. I don't agree with that at all, um, but that's his decision to make, and so far it's working, and that's a turnover if he doesn't reroll it, which failed, so it's a turnover. Let's see, he gets stunned, and we're fine. Okay, nice. Um... That's okay, at least. It does not allow me to hit his ball carrier yet. But maybe we can get there. Although, probably not. Yeah. So how do we do this? I know what I want to try. We could free up him by knocking these two guys down. But that's a bit of a risk because we don't have block. But if we do, I can reposition the guard to... I could actually blitz the ball carrier with the one dice afterwards. Um, so you know what, let's start with this one, good, 
These always make me worried. And stay. Then we've got this one. Also good. Can put him up to there and stay. Okay, now I do have this course of action to just attack him there with the one die splits if I want to. I guess that's the way to go, unfortunately. Um, so let's do this. Bring him... No, we need our blocks here, don't we? Yeah, bring him to there. I'm gonna do the, the somewhat safe stuff first. Also bring him to here so that I can do this two dice. I can't get a two dice against this guy now, which I would have liked more. But this is still valuable, especially if we get it. I do need to follow that. On the chance of an armor break. Which did not happen, so we will not pile on. Then we've got this block. Uh, gonna push over there and not follow. We wanna keep him mobile. He could go this way. But we'll see. I can actually get a two dice if I'm willing to blitz without block. Possibly. No, there's a guy there. We can't. Um, uh, if I had put him there. No, we still couldn't have. So, yeah, we're gonna do this now. See how it's going to go. Good enough. Didn't catch it. Come on, scatter down here. No, over there. That is fine, though. Let's put ourselves next to his catcher. And I'm going to leave the thrower down there. Because he could still go this way, and we need to have something in the way of blocking him. We've got a tackle zone on the ball. He needs to blitz us to, to get it away. Uh, so all of that is fine. He goes for the blitz right away, knocks us down, but he will push us onto the ball, which could give us another tackle zone on the ball, depending on where it goes. He doesn't pick it up or catch it. Ah, crap. Well, but he, he caught it on the player that, that blitzed. But he can still move with that guy. He isn't, though? Interesting. And the way he set this guy up means I can just block him away and then we can get a two dice against him. I can just stand up my guard player as well. He might foul him, though. Yep, there we go. He does not have a dirty player, but with four assists, that's a good foul. Got through, got a stun. So it's good enough for now. Yep, dodges away. So now... Oh, nice. Why did he do that dodge? Because now he's he's given me a fairly good chance to do something here. Uh, we are going to start with this one. Sure, over there and follow, please. Come on. Okay, it's a stun, so we are going to pile on. With the butt drop. Come on, give me something. Nope, stays the same. Bummer, but okay. So next up is definitely this block. Oh, which is our first reroll. But we got lucky. That's better, it's another stun. Still not quite what I was hoping for, but... That's fine. So next we can move this guy over to here. Yeah, of course, I'm a lucker. Sure. Can't be that I know what I'm doing. So we probably want this block, because we've got block on him. But I should move my other players first a little bit. Um... Yep, 
Yeah, let's get the him down to here. Do something to his catcher, maybe? Yeah, let's just go here. These down here also still annoy me a little bit. But there is that guard guy right there. So let's just put ourselves right here. Next will be the Blitz. I've already rerolled, so if we don't get it, we don't get it, which is the case. And so what's up next? I could attempt the one dice up there, but I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, his ogre standing back up is kind of horrible as well. We don't want these guys to move. And then I think I'm just going to go right there. Not foul. I only have one assist. And he is not going to do anything, unfortunately. There we go. No bonehead. So thanks to his guard guys being in good positions. Oh, he can get some decent blocks here, but he will not make a lot of forward progress. We still need to be careful because if he can... He can punch himself an opening. It's pretty horrible, but... Oh, nice. Just a push. Yep. Freeze up the lineman. That makes sense. Yeah, call it's me, Lucker does three. It's his third or fourth one dice without an issue yet. Uh, and he's gotten knockdowns on at least two of them. Like these. He doesn't get much in terms of armor break. So that is true. But yeah, that's why I put this guy there. Because I wanted to keep him from dodging easily. But he managed to knock him down. He's playing very risky with all those one dice. I'm, I am putting a lot of pressure on him. That's, I mean, that obviously is, is a factor there. But so far they are working for him, and that's a bit of a bummer. I hope we can get the ball. Oh. Yep, knocks us down there. So what's going to happen with the catcher? And all of my lucky stunts don't help me at all. I'm sorry if I'm a bit of a bad mute mood now. I've just realized that I'm pointing that out. That I'm I'm always annoyed when people call me lucky because it hasn't it doesn't have to do with luck. Yes, there will be erratic dice rolls and stuff like that, but this is still on on par, I think. Yeah, but that's what I mean here. All of this does not help me if if he's the one that gets the KOs. Now I'm two players down. And I'm not going to call him Lucker, because it happens. But I l really hate it. And then he does is thinking about doing stuff like this, which what he should not do. He should dodge over there and then walk down one. But, I mean, who knows? <sighs> I feel like I already should have the ball, and I just don't. And that bother bothers me a little bit, I have to be honest. No, we need to go down this way, unfortunately. Try to stay safe, don't we? Or So we're going to do this. Block him first. Which only ends in a push, but that's not a problem yet. I think... Oh, but maybe I just turned it into one. We'll see. Now, okay, we got the knockdown. But that's gonna make him... Or force him to make a longer run. Although we could just bring him over to here. That's the assist against his ogre. I hate doing this uh, quite a bit, but we can't help it. Uh, can I 
afford to stand them up yet. We kind of need him to blitz, I think. Yeah, so I do have to do this one first. Okay, that's kind of horrible. Holy crap. And now we do have this, but it's still a one dice because the ogre is there. And I can't do much to the ogre. Yeah, so now it's my time to take the risks. I guess, so I'll do a one die splits with the player against block when I don't have block. Oh, when it works. Thank you so much. Um, sure, follow. Still only stuns. I'm just not getting quite the result that we need, but we caught the ball. And it's on us alone, which is awesome. So I'm going to go up here with this guy now. Um, he will get to hit me. I'm just trying to figure out where to push this guy. Because he can easily blitz me. I think we're just going to push him over there. And, yep, do this. And I'm going to risk this one dice as well. Nope. Double nope. That's, that's what I mean. And I KO myself, of course. So now I'm three players down. We do have the ball, which is pretty good. Um, but he could also just fireball me now. He could fireball four players, which would be not the worst thing. But he doesn't. He can't get an easy access to us, at least. So who knows what's going to happen, but I'm not 100% on our chances here with, with the disadvantage we're at right now. Uh, if he can get the ball back, there's a good chance that he's going to be able to run away with it, because now he can exert a lot of pressure on us. The, the guard advantage is going to... Come on, guy. You've got three more players than I do. This is making me a bit mad. I don't get this. <sighs> Why? Okay, bonehead. That's not good. So now we've got some interesting stuff. So first of all, this is a two dice that we need to take. Thank you so much. Which automatically turns this into a two dice. That we want to take. Yeah, he's giving me the, the keys to the kingdom right now, basically. Run our ball carrier all the way up to there. Um. Yes, I think we want to blitz this guy. I wouldn't have needed the assist necessarily, but it's nice to have it. I'm gonna put him over there. There we go. Thank you so much. Oh, injuries. Injuries are good. He... Oh, he apples it right away. I, I don't get this guy. I really don't. Yeah, we've, we've completely locked him out of this, though. So I'm perfectly fine with this. I could dodge, get myself an assist here. But that's way too risky. So I'm just gonna dodge. And... Where do we want to go? Possibly no. Well, he could f use the wizard now, so I'm still going to put somebody next to him. And he is... Yeah, he's just going to get hit, unfortunately. So let's see. Okay, doesn't stand anybody up first. Goes for a block. So the thing is, he appoed this guy, so the catcher will come back without an issue. 
my KOs might still stay out. Now the question is, do I want to score, try and stall this out until turn 8, or do I want to try to score on turn 7, because that's going to give me two KO rolls on these guys, and consequently give me a higher chance to get them back. I'll, ultimately, right now, I only need to get one back, since... We do have two reserve players, we don't necessarily need these back, but all of these are good players. The kicker is the one we can afford to not have around the most right now. I do want the thrower back for the second half and the guard player as well, of course. So we'll. I'm going to stall a little bit just to not give him enough time to score on the first half. But I'm going to try and, and keep this maybe on turn 7, if we can. But this is not looking good and he's probably going to keep fouling as well and that could be a problem so that's only a stun yep so he's following my ogre now so I probably have to score because he's gonna exert more pressure he could get himself sent off but he could also injure players yep there's the injury but he will get sent off so let's see what happens it's an MNG I can't apple that that's a fact, unfortunately. I hate this. Um, but yeah, there's just nothing we can do about this. So I'm not going to score this turn. Would have liked to again, but it's not going to work out. Um, because as long as I don't scroll this up ro royally, this should work. Okay, we get him away. Um, and I'm staying. And then I blitz right there. This is where the issue starts, because now it's not a two dice any longer, it's a one dice. Sure. Into more pushes. He could still use the wizard. If he decides to use the wizard to prevent me from scoring, I'm still going to be okay with it. Just because the wizard will be gone then. He is... I need to score before turn eight. It's as simple as that, but now it's also a question of, can I really afford to score already? Because if none of my KOs come back, which can happen, as we all know, he is in an exceedingly good position. I'm five players down right now, which means I will be at least three players down if... Well, not five players down, come on, just thank you, he can do that too. Look at that. Hey, at least I get the permanent stuff now. And that's a level up as well. Awesome. Okay. So one more. And he will not be able to field 11 players any longer. So that's good. But let's just see what I can do here. So maybe I should have used my dirty player instead. So that's the guard guy, yes, okay. So let's try to get him. If I don't make this first one work, by the way, it's going to be brutal. And of course we don't. Well, it's not brutal, it's a one dice. But still, now I put myself next to the ogre, which I really don't... Not, no, we don't put ourselves, because we're just going to push the ogre. But I am giving him an easy block against me. I could try, and if I fail, I fail. Yeah. Yeah. Not good, of course, but I'm not going to reroll. I just wanted to disconnect there, not give him the block. Wouldn't necessarily have been 
any worse, I guess. Well, with my because of Mighty Blow, it could have been. So I'm going to score next turn. Because I want two chances to get these guys back. We need that. Um, yeah, so let's just see what happens. He injures one of mine, so that's a bummer. Can't apple that. So now I've injured two of his, he's injured two of mine, but he's also KO'd four of mine. Calling me lucky again, dare you. Oh boy. And that's what annoys me there, because it, 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 we would turn two or three when he wrote that. I don't know why, why this gets to me as much as it does, but it's because it's... It's a, such a bummer. I mean... <clears throat> he's doing so many weird things, and then he's playing solid in other areas with the fouls and stuff like that. This All the fouls, it's really working for him. And it's not a double again. So... I didn't... I have the dirty player, and I didn't... And well, now my dirty player is KO'd. But... No, my dirty player is still around. But I just can't get this out. We, we are... I'm down to four players. Yes, if I would take any chance right now, I'm just going to score. Thank you very much. Because he could still fireball me and prevent me from scoring. He will have one turn left here. I just need... The KO rolls. So two come back so far, which is already a bad average. It's below average. Literally. Uh, yeah, so now I gotta pull these guys back. And I'm going to have to give him my dirty player on top of everything. So all that is pretty horrible. Let's see if he can pull off a one-turn touchdown. I doubt it, but who knows. So right now I'm at three, six, eight players. We have the chance to get back up to 11. If only all of my KOs come back. He is at 11, literally. <sighs> okay, I get another reroll. Yeah, I have two fame, so that's good to know. So he set this up wrong, by the way. If he wants to block with the Ogre, he should have put the Ogre right there so that he can put block diagonally in case this happens. So thank you very much for that. He also didn't set himself as up assists, which will cost him some stuff. This is what I mean. His fouling wasn't bad, and then he does stuff like this. I can be really happy about that. It's weird, but I can be happy about that. Yeah, now it's my turn, eight. So I'm going to do weird stuff, in case you were wondering. Because I have a reroll left, and I can afford to, because now I'm going to foul this guy. It could cost me, obviously, but it's a valuable target, and let's just hope that it works out. Nope, just straight up nothing, and now we go into the first... Are we going to have time? Please just let me get my KOs back. Two. Okay, so everybody but the kicker is out. Uh, is, is back, I think, so we're at ten. No, okay, it's, it's the, the blitzer with that. That's okay, though. Could have been worse. Oh, yeah, he gets to set up first, sure. So we're in the lead in the second half, and I get to receive... I do have my thrower, we do have our catcher, we don't have the ogre. It's doable, but it's not necessarily going to be an easy thing. If I can get a second touchdown, he still has his wizard. We should be okay, and my disadvantage isn't that big, it's only one player right now. Uh, I am missing some pretty big guys, though, <laughs> like the big guy. So who knows how this is going to play out ultimately, but we're we're gonna attempt. He also set up his defense very big there. Don't really agree with that, but that's obviously his choice to make. Um.
So yeah, if we do these and I give him this guy on the last scrimmage, actually we can make this a two dice. I think I want all my 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 good blockers or blitzers all on the same side. Ideally. So we have this too deep in case something goes wrong. Then we have three players here. This is a two dice, which turns this into a two dice. If it works, then I can move assists over to here. And I could one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could blitz the catcher if we want to, but I'm not 100% on that yet. Yeah, so I'm okay with this. Okay, I'm up to five rerolls, which is too many, I'd say, but that's okay. Okay, because of that, we won't get a two dice there. But that is okay. Um... Let's see, do I want to make this a two die? Yeah, I think we want to foul this guy, actually. So I'm going to shoot for that. By blitzing like this and pushing him here, which is inherently dangerous. Because he's got guard. Oh, okay. So this is a piling on moment, unfortunately. Which will cost me, but if I can remove him like this and don't have to foul, I'm also okay with that. It's less risky. Okay, KO'd him. Perfect. So we're 10 versus 10. I need to pre I need to protect my my guy though. So now I can well I can still foul something, maybe. But first of all, we need. Our defense. As deep as it will let us go for now. And then I think, yeah, let's just move him up a bit. Uh, next I need to pick up the ball. Okay, good. Go over here. And so this is where this gets a little bit more interesting. I think I'm going to try this one dice to disconnect. Oh, thank you so much. That one was risky, definitely. But it worked out, so oh, even better. Wow, okay, so now we're in the lead, which is good. I am sorely tempted to do this foul here, like so. But that would give him four players to fireball. Um, which is right now a bit too risky for my taste, I feel like. Or is it? Uh, yeah, it is. So I'm gonna pull him back instead. Create another layer if he... He could still fireball this, but yeah, we've got this pulled back. And I'm okay with failing the one dice here. Uh, it's in an... Well, actually, no, we're, we're going to keep it like this. Either he's going to dodge or he's going to put one of his players to, to get an assist over here. Both of which would be okay. If he dodges and fails, it's good. If he dodges and makes it, at least this guy's still standing and he can't just run away with this guy. Uh, if he brings another player here, it's two players that I've bound. Why? Okay, so I feel like he doesn't have a very solid grasp on some things here. What? That was a wasted wizard if I've ever seen one. Why? So now I'm, I'm no longer worried, honestly. Um, I want to get a level up on the catcher. 
So I'm going to get the ball on him. I just want to block with him, I think, and then blitz up there with this guy. So let's bring up the guard to here. First of all, now that the wizard is gone, I can definitely go there. Start moving already. Um... And make this safe, at least from that side. Can bring him over to here. I'm going to keep this guy there for now. Next, we are going to do this block. We do need a defender down here. If we don't get it, I'm just going to blitz him again. But we do get the defender down. Wow, okay, that was, was a good roll. And then we have this blitz. And I want to push him down here, which is why I'm blitzing from there. Otherwise, I could have also blitzed him from here. In this case, I think... Yeah, we're still going to push him down there. It's still better. Follow up. Drop through the armor. Nothing, though. So I'm going to pile on again. And hope that for once, this game, it's going to... Well, we got a KO out of it already, I think. Yeah, second KO there. So now, Control's definitely back in our corner. Quite significantly, yeah. Of course, it's lucker. It's not because you made mistakes. Can only be because... I I don't really want to write an answer to that, because I feel like I'm going to be very annoyed if that happens. Yeah, we can afford to reroll this now once, so whoop-de-doo. So now I can disconnect... It's a game about risk management. It's not... It's... He should... It. He ended his own turn with that wizard. He... He calls me Lucker after KOing four of my players and injuring two in the first half. I was down to four players. He made mistakes. I'm not saying that I don't have decent rolls in this second half, or probably even good rolls. But he did a lot of one dice. He did weird dodges, all that stuff, and then he's calling me a lucker because it's not working out for him. And that's what I don't like. And now he does another one die splits when he clearly could have gotten a two dice. It's, it's stuff like that that really annoys me. <sighs> it's okay, though. Let's, let's not let ourselves get, get, get uh, I don't know pushed down by that too much. He's still trying to hang in this. Still hasn't used, moved his ogre as well. Should just put him here, I guess. Yep, there we go. Because guard. But this is still... I mean, I'm still not through here. It doesn't necessarily look good for him. But he still has a way of defending. And I want to get the ball on him, and right now I can't. I mean, this is a is a is a me problem, a really obvious one, but still. So let's start with this. Nope. Yeah, he's going in a lot with this. Um. So this is only... No, this is still a two dice. Oh yeah, because we've got our own guard down here. But do I really want to blitz like that? Because it will not actually help me. Yeah, this is still... I mean, it's okay. Yeah, you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to blitz this guy. We got him. Uh, I'm not going to follow in this case. No, I am going to. Okay, there it is. Another injury. Thank you. So this is now, uh, no, it's a one dice. Okay, so we need to turn that into a two dice. 
Oh yeah, because I've got strength one there. Uh, strength two, I mean. Okay, just a push. It's good enough though, I just want to disconnect there. Now this is a two die. Uh, stay please. Uh, so this is where it gets a bit more dangerous right now. Yeah, so I think we're just going to go for a handoff right here. Onto our catcher. And since I do have the rerolls... No, I can't afford to dodge here. I'm leaving it like this. That's fine, because if I would have dodged here to get myself a good block here... And it would have worked, would have been nice, of course. Yeah, sure, start with that. Don't stand up this guy first. No. Yeah. It's... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm tr trying to not get annoyed anymore. He does get the power against the, the blotch guy, which is a bummer. So now... He doesn't do anything but stun. So we're still good, but I'm also in scoring range. Uh, what helps him so Yeah, these dodges are just... No. Mm hmm Gets a knockdown against Marcus. Doesn't follow, though. So, will he not put a player next to me? Mm, apparently not. Gets another one dice, pow. Interesting. I'm surprised at how much he can stay in this. KOs himself. So that's good. Does anything happen to us? Nope. Even though he is a bit under under strength now. Um, the ogre helps tremendously there, I assume. With everything he does. So what are we going to do? I think I want to blitz like this. Let's hope for a knockdown. Good, because then I can push him down here, which is the infinitely better position. Next, I need a player there. And let's put him over to here. Then I can run away with the ball carrier. Which consequently allows me to make this block. Okay, we got it. We're going to push him over to here. Follow, of course. I didn't get through the armor, so I will not pile on. We've already blitzed. I don't want to be hit by the ogre again. So I'm going to try and move. With a GFI, I can actually make it there. Let's make the dodge first, because I want to see if I have my reroll. I do. So we're going to get all the way up to here. With the GFI. Thank you so much. And now we're good. Because this is, yeah, my own guard guy. Just locking this down completely. Oh, yeah, he's trying to get my, my killer. I can't, I can't fault him for that. It's a good choice. The fact that he... He injured one or two this match, plus the... Plus the the touchdown already puts him just seven away from his next level up already. That's pretty insane. I'm hoping for a double. A double would allow me to, to give him jump up. Or just a stat up would be awesome. Don't necessarily need an agility uh, up, but I would probably still take it. Uh, so strength up would be obviously amazing. But I don't know. Oh, two dice against into the push. Yeah, so he's going to push me to here. But I'm not going to let you serve me. 
That's not how this is going to play out. Okay, stuns us again. Whew. Yeah, so these guys can't do much. Do I just want to score? Because we could try to score on him again. But he does have a babe, so his players could come back. Issue that I have is here, I can't hit this guy very well. Uh, it's who I would like to blitz with. So I'll tell you what, since he's setting up the surf, let's let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Day. No, even then it doesn't work, so I would have needed two players here. I should have just blitzed from... No, he was right there. Nah, it's fine. So we can't surf him, but I can still block him. Uh, he needs to stand up, though. Don't want him on the ground. So let's still block him. Could gain us double skulls, apparently. I mean, I could stall this out and just knock him down next turn, but these guys are pretty close, so we are going to score now. He will have four turns left. I will have three turns left, basically. Let's see what the KOs say. I don't know. Didn't want to stall this out any longer. All of his KOs come back. And mine still stays out, so he's failed three rolls now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, what do we do here? We probably do something along these lines. So we've got this going. Okay, actually not that bad what I still have available here. It's fairly decent. So we could do this. I'm going to put him all the way in the back. Then we've got the guard guy on this side. That's fine. Now, yeah, let's set up like this, I think. Put these a little bit closer together. It's going to make it easier for his guard to do something, but that would not have been that big of an issue to begin with. Are you not? No, I'm still going to, to keep them far apart. Yeah, let's see what he does with that. Ah, oh, my kicker is in the wrong spot. That was a mistake. Yeah, okay. My bad. My bad. <sighs> I wouldn't have minded if just one of his KOs had failed. Even with one babe, that's a really good roll. Ooh. Without a kick. Yeah, so that's, by the way, one of the things I don't get. He could have set himself out of an assist right away. And he just doesn't. Mm, okay, catches the ball. Works. It's good enough. Nothing. Okay. Let's see. So he has ten players. He goes for a one-die splits. And he injures one, really. So it was 10 against 10. Again, now it's 10 against 9. In this case, yeah, I... He doesn't even move this guy afterwards. I'm just annoyed with what he's playing here. It's... it's I don't agree with so much of what he's doing. 
he is having some hard times with his ogre and stuff like that. That's out of the question. His ogre, I mean, at least on the first block here, he's still set up wrong and cost, is costing himself stuff. He also should not have done the ogre block first, but this block. Yep, pretty much. Um, but I'm, I'm past, the, past the point right now. Oh, really? Gonna keep fouling? I mean, sure, if you want to foul a 2 SPP lineman, that's your choice. Don't really see the appeal. Well, it's it's 4 assists, so it's still probably a decent thing to do. Okay, but he failed. And now I have access to this catcher again, which is pretty awesome. So let me see what I want to do here. We probably, I think I'm just going to blitz right away. I wouldn't have needed even needed the assist, but it's nice to get it. Thank you. So I can't complain about my about what happens here on the second half with with everything we have available. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's bring him to here. Um, I can make this a one die. And I'm considering what to do with my catcher, because he could try to go through here, so we probably want our catcher right there. He could also try to go this way. Uh, first, I wanted to put him here or there, but now that this has happened, we're okay there. So if he knocks this guy down, goes back a bit, and blitzes here and walks down this way, we're, we're in no good shape. So that's why I did that. And I'm okay with that. It frees up the ogre for him. Yes, that's true. But this guy will not move away since we still have a player next to him. Okay, he just moves him up one. That could have been worse, I think. Possibly. Yeah, it's still not good because two of his take uh, one of his takes care of two of mine. Uh, even though the team value is obviously, or the the team value involved in all of that is is not that comparable. But right now, I still need all of my players, uh, so that's kind of important. Yeah, that's just a one dice, buddy. He does get the push though. And this is a two dice, but if he uses it, he will not get away. Oh, yeah. So he's, is he going the way I thought he might? Nope, he goes for a risky one dice first again. I mean, it once again gains him something. But really? And he even, yeah, he hadn't even stood up that guy yet. Yeah, please, please do. That's not going to work. Failed dodge. But he catches the ball right away again. Bummer. Yeah, so now it's 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 still not over. But sure, let's let's give him the GG. Why not? So this won't help. I have to say I really would like to score again. And it's doable. It's not easily doable. Though, so we are just going to try and set things up. Woo, another double skull. But we'll have to wait and see if it pays out. Because I need to dodge this guy and run him over down this way. He's the only one that can score anymore right now. Oh, we don't get the knockdown, though, so we'll push him over to here, and I will follow. Sure. It's a tad risky. Could get me served. But it happens. Okay, so I've already blitzed, so now we can just do this. Uh, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I do need to GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and now we are okay. And I don't want him to have the ogre block. This is now a one dice. If it works, it's really good. If not, well, then not. So let's see what happens. Yeah, he... I don't know. Weird match. I I think he's not that experienced yet with what he does. It's... Yeah. He's done now there. And now I get my last chance to... Score a touchdown here. So I'm going to serve him. Which could get the ball somewhere where I literally can't reach it. But it could also go somewhere where I just have to pick it up. No, goes all the way back there. So unfortunately my thrower is all the way back there. So that just instantly made this significantly harder. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So okay, if I want to go for a throw... We need to get rid of you, which is a one dice right now, so we will... I can't get the assist, so I do need to blitz this. Yeah, over there. Not ideal. Okay, let's just let's just see about this. We're gonna try to pick up the ball. Okay, that worked. Yep, because that makes this throw a bit easier. Oh, I rolled a one on the pass, so this is already very unlikely. And I rolled a double one. Okay, that's fine though. Could have worked. Um Get the ball on him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, uh, yeah, with that guy not getting knocked down. It was already pretty brutal. Oh, okay, goes for another one dice instead of getting himself an assist. I mean, it does not matter anymore. It's his, it's the last turn of the match. Um, the only thing that could happen is that he injures something of mine. That's actually at least a two dice. Uh, that does nothing, though. So let's see. Okay. I mean, I would try this as well, but he didn't make it. And there we go. So that's another win for us. With one level up, at least. Uh, Mark level up, thanks to that injury that he, the guy, uh, got himself. Sure, we're going to take that, I guess. 90k in winnings. Damn. And Zasha levels up again because he got the MVP. Oh, boy. That's pretty brutal. Let's see. So we've got an MNG on our Ogre, which is kind of a bummer. But, ah, uh, well. So let's start with, with Zasha. A double would be really welcome here. Okay, we don't get a double. So now this becomes interesting, or not inter not necessarily interesting, just... Uh, there's a few options here. I do need a strip baller, but I want strip ball on somebody else. We could go Dauntless, to give himself a better chance against bigger enemies. We could also go Guard, because we need more Guard, but I think I want to get him more brutal. Frenzy would have been the last choice there, I think. So I'm gonna go Dauntless. 
so that I have a better chance against higher strength players. That's a double, though. Another double, actually. He already had one. Yeah, so that's Diving Tackle. Jump up would be awesome, but he's not built towards that. And Diving Tackle is going to be extremely annoying. Yeah, this seems reasonable. And then I need to blast some of my own money here. As per usual, so I'm going to do that off camera. And then we'll see. So this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more Blood Bowl 2, just, uh, yeah. Stick around. That's the word. <laughs> so, yeah. I screwed up my outro here again. It's fine. See you all next time. Bye.